how do you solve a traffic problem? Perhaps uh, a roundabout, some new lights, even attempts to get people to use public transport. How, though, about a talking robot? Well, it is the idea in Kinshasa, in fact, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has two eight-foot-tall talking androids, and the female engineer behind them is eyeing the global market. <laughs> It may look like something from a low-budget sci-fi movie, but this eight-foot robot in the heart of Kinshasa helps bring real-life order to real-life chaos. Introduced in June last year to regulate the traffic, it's proving surprisingly effective and popular. And now its creators, an association called Women Technology, have global ambitions. There are many robots in the world, but a robot which is doing road safety and traffic control, that's truly made in Congo. We must sell our expertise to other countries, as well as Central Africa. Why not the US, Europe and Asia? Each robot costs about 15,000 US dollars. The machines are powered by solar panels, made of aluminium to withstand the equatorial climate, and equipped with cameras. When the robot captures images, they're sent over the internet to a center where they're stored and could be used to prosecute people who've committed offenses. The pictures could in future be sent on to the police, cutting accidents while gaining revenue for the state. Drivers seem to be getting the message. The robot is good. When it stops the traffic, you can see that everybody stops and the pedestrians can cross without a problem. Thank God for those who invented it. The traffic police bother us too much. Let's leave robots to do the job. In this frenetic megacity of 10 million, the people seem happy to let the robots take control. <laughs> Absolutely mad. Well, they need proper legs so they could walk away as well, couldn't they?